Greetings, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. And today I wanna to share with you one of the most common asymmetries that I see when I'm working with clients. Now, what is an asymmetry? An asymmetry is when your body is not in symmetry, meaning it's out of balance or it's out of alignment. And what I'm gonna show you is how to test, how to fix it yourself, and how to retest to make sure that you did actually correct the problem. This is part of a corrective exercise program that I might actually prescribe to someone. So the first thing we're gonna do is a gluteal test. And what we're testing for is to see if both of our ilium or one side of the pelvis, also called an, an innominate, if one side is rotated forward. If it's rotated forward, we want to correct that because we don't want to be walking around with one side of our pelvis rotated forward. That creates an asymmetry. It changes the way the femur or the upper leg bone fits into the hip socket. And that can create back pain. It can create knee pain. And it just basically can wreak havoc every step that you take. So what we're gonna do is the gluteal test. You're gonna come down onto a firm surface. Now this could be the floor or this could be a firm bed or a very stable table, like a treatment table. So you're gonna come down and you're just going to start by propping up on your elbows for 20 seconds. Now, the reason that this is important is because you want the back muscles to relax. If the back muscles are not relaxed, then you can get what we call a false positive test, meaning it's going to make it look like one side of the pelvis is rotated forward when it's really not. So we wanna keep the back nice and loose, 20, 30 seconds even, just kind of hanging out on your elbows here. Now, you're gonna come down flat with your forehead on your hands, and then we're gonna do a leg lift. So this is how this looks. We're gonna lift up for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We're gonna put that leg down and we're gonna note how heavy that leg felt. Then we're gonna test the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think if either leg felt heavier than the other. If you're like, I don't know, then it's probably not there. We don't try to find something wrong when it's not there. So if it's not real obvious to you, then it's probably not there. So if they both seem equally heavy or equally easy to lift, then you do nothing. You're done, it's level, and you don't have one side of your pelvis rotated forward. But if you do have a side that is heavier, then I want you to turn over onto your back. And what you're gonna do here, if you felt the left leg heavier, you're gonna lay on your back, you're gonna put the left hand behind the left thigh. You're going to put the right hand on top of the right thigh. So the same side hand or the same back of the thigh that was heavy. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push 10 to 20% effort into the hand at the back of the thigh and into the hand on the top of the thigh. So if the left leg was heavy, you're going to push and match the resistance, 20% effort max. You do six for six seconds two, three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, six, five, two, three, four, five, six, six, two, three, four, five, six. So if you're a person who had the left leg heavy, just pause for right now. And now I'm going to show the people who had a right leg heavy. 
you're going to do the opposite. You're going to put your right hand behind your right thigh and your left hand on top of your left thigh. And you're going to go ahead and push. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Three, two, three, four, five, six. Four, two, three, four, five, six. Five, two, three, four, five, six. Six, two, three, four, five, six. So a total of six for six seconds. Now, you're both going to come back. Okay, meaning if your left leg was heavy or your right leg was heavy, you're going to come back and you're going to retest. So you're going to come back to that pro prone on elbows or prop on elbows. And you're going to hang out there for 20 to 30 seconds just to make sure that your back muscles relax. Now, while we're waiting here, it's really important that you only do the push for six to six seconds on the heavy leg. You do not do both sides like I did. I was actually even, so it was okay for me to do both sides because I didn't have one side more than the other. So by doing both sides, I should stay the same. If you have both sides equal, you would not do any of this. You would just get up and be on with your day. But if you have a heavy leg, you only do the six times six seconds on the heavy side. Let's go ahead and retest. So head on the, the hands. You're going to lift one leg, 10 seconds, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Note how heavy that leg feels. And the other side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What you should feel is that the heavy leg before is now lighter. And hopefully it feels as heavy or as light as the other side. You may even feel that both sides feel lighter. That's a good thing. What we did was we corrected that rotation forward, whether it was your right side forward or whether it was your left side forward, and now you're done. So what happens though, if it felt better, but it's still heavier, well, you would just repeat that process on the heavy leg only. The reason this is so important is because we want to make sure that our body is as close to symmetry as possible. The biggest, the biggest thing I've discovered over the past 25 plus years of practicing physical therapy is that the more things are out of symmetry, the more body parts, the more joints that are out of symmetry, the more people struggle with pain. They also struggle with moving without pain. So if we can help to correct this, everything above and everything below should start to sort out a little bit. It's not the end all or be all, no exercise is, but this can be the beginning to starting to put your body back in to symmetry. I hope you found value with this. If you did, please go ahead and like and subscribe because that will allow other people to see this correction more easily. Thank you so much.